Hey guys, how y'all doing? Alex here. It's another hot day. Today is Tuesday, uh, August 23rd, and I think it's 1.45 uh, p.m. And as you can see, I'm in a very industrial part of York Region here in Vaughan, Ontario. I just got off the, uh, the 20 chain bus. Took it from uh, VMC Terminal, of course, down there. Those uh, little skyscrapers you see is part of the unfinished uh, downtown Vaughan or Vaughan City Center. And uh, again, this this uh, part of Vaughan has some uh, has a lot of these uh, business, corporate offices, and uh, office parks. But yeah, again, I'm here at Jane and Langstaff, and uh, oh my God, am I not impressed with you, York Region Transit? So. So I, I uh, got in line first, waiting for the bus, and it was a Nova bus that came along. So I hopped on it and went to the very back. And one thing I noticed is that there's no friggin' uh, stop request cord, nor there's a nor there's a nearby button, because you know these are the uh, you know the features. You gotta you know when you when you pull the when you pull the cord or you press the button, that tells the operator that someone needs to get off. So basically, all because. There's no friggin' stop request uh, feature at the back of the bus, which is, I think it's very inconvenient. I missed my stop, so then right after that, I got up, and then uh, I was, and then I, uh, and then I pressed the button. I don't think that Nova bus has a stop request quarter, and I wonder if that's, uh, that applies to like all the, uh, the early 2010s at Nova buses. But uh, so far, that is the worst Nova bus I have been on. So a big F you to York Region Transit. Because, like, like, what the hell is wrong with you guys? Seriously, you gotta, like, uh, add, uh, add some convenience. You know, think about your, your passengers and stuff. Seriously, because on our TDC buses, there's stop request cords, buttons everywhere. But to, there was none whatsoever at the back of the bus, like none. It's just, it's, oh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, starting on a negative note here, but there's a rant for you. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm here on uh, Jane, or I'm here. <laughs> I already mentioned what street I'm on, but walking north on the east side of Jane Street. I did tell me want to get here because I only because I took the subway up to Vaughn, and then I took the uh, the 20 Jane route from Smart VMC Terminal. And I wanted to come back to your region to do a, a, to do a few more walking videos before I start to uh, school. But I haven't done a walking video in Vaughn in, um, I would say, three months. So uh, I just wanted to uh, come back up to Vaughn and, uh, you know, explore the area a bit. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head up to uh, Rutherford Road been a walk east to Kiel. And so as you can see, we're in the uh, 905 area, of course, but 905 area code is basically, you know, you dial in the phone number, 905, blah, blah, blah. That is the area code for the GTA regions. And I think some parts of the TO as well. But it's predominantly 905, 289, or even 437. Again, Look everywhere around you, there's so many office parks here. There's a new flyer Excelsior, I think that's an XD60, I think. I've been on that bus before. But anyway, I have to get off right here. So, thanks for all your inconvenience, YRT, really. I don't think I'll ever ride one of your Novo buses again. Well, actually, uh, that's not true because uh, the, Novo bus, uh, the Novo buses also run on the uh, Viva Blue Line. But it's the articulated one, and because of the bus rapid transit, then of course you gotta have the priority features on, so that's fair. But seriously, come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I can't believe I still class this in exactly two weeks. And it feels like I've been, uh, even though I'm not even at a thousand steps yet, I feel like I'm known around uh, the city. It's true because I've kind of been uh, recognized at least two, three times. And then uh, a lot of my family and uh, friends are starting to watch this now. Because anybody can search uh, 
anybody can search me up or uh, I have a lot of videos that have, that have like thousands of views. Think of it as like, it's like you're watching like uh, the other uh, vloggers like there, Elsa McFall, Johnny Strice, and so many others. So you can easily search your names up, but you, but you can also search up mine. And as I said in my walkie video yesterday, I am going to cut back on the story officially. So uh, if you still don't like if I do it occasionally, or if it's just by accident, then of course, why are you watching this? And here's my reusable water bottle here. But uh, I got that means if I want to drink some water, I gotta, I gotta open this thing up, right? I gotta open this up, like like uncover it, which I think is pretty inconvenient because you can't even drink water from this tip right here. Oh, I'm gonna make an update video in like two weeks, at least before like school starts for me, because I'm heading into a different uh, open environment. Could give you a hint though. There's still a lot of videos to come, like lots of them, because now the videos that I'm posting right now are, da are dated back to between three to four weeks and then to a month. I'm not even kidding, that's like a bulk of videos. And also, I think the, re I think the reason why I've been pushing back, like, I wouldn't say delay, but intentionally, but it's because, you know, sometimes I film like big videos and I want to like post them like, like uh, same day or the next day. Like for example, I almost got caught in a thunderstorm yesterday as I was on my way home. So I wanted to capture a class I, and uh, it was so big, I posted it this morning. And same thing for when I went to the uh, TTC's uh, closeout uh, centennial event at Hillcrest, because it was so huge. And there's a lot of you transit fans out there that like vintage vehicles. So uh, I had to post the videos of the GM New Look, the uh, old street cars, and of course, around the facility in general. Now, see that little, okay, I don't know if you guys saw it, but do you see that little roller coaster right there? What is that? For those of you that live in Toronto, okay, it's out of focus, but, oh man, that's a Leviathan. Yes, that is the tallest roller coaster in Canada, and that is at Canada's Wonderlands. I'm pretty sure it's owned by Six Flags. I know, I know that's not original, but... I was really tall. I was just told that it was owned by Six Flags. Anyway, I have been there lots of times. It's such a great place to go to. I went there with my cousins back in July. I didn't do a video there though, but I did do a video coming back on the uh, YRT route. And it's a really fun place. My mom grew up going there. And now, uh, oh, there's guys from Illinois. That too. But, uh, but uh, <laughs> man, I'm so glad I got to go back there. Maybe if I go back next time, I'll try to get a video, but I don't think I'll have time anymore this year. But Canada's Wonderland, it is so fun. As I mentioned many times, Vaughn is just the north of Toronto. But, uh, yeah, go over to Canada's Wonderland if you like roller coasters, thrill rides. Okay, I would be I would be freaking scared to go up on the Leviathan or any other roller coaster because uh, my friends have, not my cousins. I wonder how the hell my friends decide to break myself because one friend I know of, I think she went on like a few more than a few times. Let's see. Look at this street name, Bag Street. Bag Street. Look at that. <laughs> you gotta be joking me. <laughs> The street is called Bag Street. What the hell? It's called Bag Street. Okay, I know I'm very repetitive, so I'm gonna like shut up on that, but. Oh man. I'm gonna cross over to the other side at some point. Maybe when I hit Vaughn Mills, which is a mall that I haven't been to in four years and probably a place that I won't go to again. I'll probably tell you why when I, uh, um, uh, I pass it. There is another Excelsior Electric, I mean, articulated bus, excuse me, right there. But 20 Jane is mostly served by uh, these types of buses. Look, 2008! Like the year. I, I think those buses are from 2020, though. I've only been on them once. I bet you that Novo bus on the 20 route 
is rare. Or I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm not sure what uh, the visions they... Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. I do not know the garages because, you know, again, the garages uh, manage, like, uh, certain routes. But obviously, I don't know that because I do not live here. Interestingly enough, if you're, in a, if you're in a part of the GTA like this, of course, the sidewalk is like away from the road. By the way, it's 212, not 145 when I started this. I could have been here earlier, but I had to do something. And I'm probably gonna stay out until at least like the height of a rush hour. But it shouldn't be a problem for me as I'm heading south. Okay, maybe when I get to the uh, the next slide, I'll just uh, take a quick break from here, and then I'll uh, keep recording or keep filming rather. Look, there's a time 2:14. I'm not sure if you guys caught that, but uh, yeah, I guess uh, speaking of the time, I've talked about uh, a lot of you know urban planning, design, and suburbs like these. But I guess that could be a different video. Somebody coming on his bike. You know, there's a bike lane over there, dumbass. She should really be biking on the road and not on this friggin' sidewalk. Really gonna appreciate that. Anyway, there is Vaughn Mills uh, Shopping Center. There's Legoland. I've been there once. I think it was like after they opened up in 2014. Of course, Legoland is like, it's basically it's a Lego museum. For like fans of Lego, because I used to play with Lego a lot. A lot. Anyway, you can, always, you can search uh, Legoland up. And look, Bass Pro Shops, which is basically a very popular um, uh, outdoor fishing store, something like that. It's American, but it's, the only two locations here in Ontario are right here, and there's one in St. Catharines as well. But Vaughn Mills opened in 2004, and uh, I do not go there anymore. Okay, I didn't go there a lot because obviously I didn't live here. Last time I was here, it was like almost five years ago. Vaughn Mills is a place I don't think I'd go to again. I do not like the design of it. I do not like the fact that it's only a single level mall and it feels like you're you're stuck in a time warp okay not time warp but it feels like that's you're stuck in a loop it's like endless it's just a it's just, it's, just a, it's just a stupid mall design really look at that a lone house right here so anyway i'm gonna cross over here at lock street and bass pro mills drive harley davidson's here oh new dealership look at that I didn't realize Ontario has a dealership here. Okay, I don't know why the crosswalk is so off to this side here. Like really, come on. Look at that guys, there's a, there's a uh, go bus facility there. Look at this, there's so many of those go buses. TOK Performance, I've heard of that. I wonder if that's a, uh, a uh, garage or something all right now we're gonna cross over to the west side of Jane I think the only mall I would go to in Vaughn is prominent I mean prominent is like much smaller than Vaughn Mills but like at least like it's like it's like a, it's like a, it's not even a single level mall. It's rather quiet. And of course here in Vaughn, they're always building condos and apartments. Okay. Let me, um, uh, <laughs> I feel thirsty. It's hot as hell. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, uh, put this down for just a few seconds as I, uh, uncover this. And they're right here at this bus stop. Alright, 
Okay, I needed that. But now it's like partially uncovered just in case you don't wanna drink again. But here's the thing though, here's the thing. I only have two hands. And I already feel like having some ice cream or even some lint, uh, not lint, but like a, a cold drink from Starbucks or ice, caf ice coffee, whatever. I mean, I could go into Vaughn Mills, take a short break there, but I think the walk from here is kind of long. That's just uh, how I feel. You know the exterior. the The exterior of uh, that complex right up ahead looks like a hotel. Like that's like it really looks like a hotel from my point of view. Of course, uh, way back in the I would say 80s, 90s, this is all farmland. This is like everywhere you look. If you're like walking here, like let's say 1991, there's like nothing here at all, nothing. Until like late 90s, early 2000s, then they finally started to uh, add some development. And of course, North of Riverford is Canada's Wonderland. You know, I was deciding if I should uh, do a walking video between, you know, near Canada's Wonderland. You know, I walked Jane from like Major Mackenzie down to here, but uh, I didn't really find it interesting because on because it was on the uh, left side you got a uh, park, and then on the right side you just got like residential houses. Head office? If I'm not mistaken, that must be the head office for YRT. Of course, YRT was founded in uh, 2001, I believe, because Vaughn, Market, Richmond Hill, they used to have their own uh, bus systems and then they merged in together. Just made a lot more sense. And of course, every major institution or Landmark in York region has a bus terminal. And also, this road here was recently paved. Because you can tell by the darkness of it. It's very new. It is a YRT new flyer. I think it's a 2008 D40 LF. There's two Nova buses. Hey, this is the Autumn Hill route, but it's actually a rush hour. Route. I mean, it's not rush hour yet, but uh, that route goes all the way to uh, Richmond Hill Center, which is where I'm going to head to after this. Don't tell me that's a 20 Jane bus again. Oh no, that's a 760. That goes from Canada's Wonderland to uh, Richmond Hill. Yep, the mall's over there. And next up will be Riverford Road. And then I'll just film part two. And the Windseeker can even be seen from here. Because it's the tallest uh, uh, attraction here at Wonderland. Look at that, Faf Audi. What the heck? P-F-A-F-F. Weird names around here, eh? Faf Audi. Like, <laughs> who the hell comes up with that? That's like a name for a friggin' duck or something. And over here, it's just some, it's just, a t it's just some typical suburban plazas. I can see a Popeyes over there. There's a Tim Hortons. I feel like, man, I already feel like 
grabbing something to drink. I've heard water. Well, I don't know, maybe I'll uh, just wait it out until I get to like Richmond Hill Center. Or, I could, if I just, if there's a Wendy's around, I could even grab the, uh, their one dollar, uh, Chocolate Frosty. Look at this new tower coming soon. That means new apartments, obviously. Affordable housing. In fact, John Tory made an announcement about, actually, I mean, he made a uh, five-point plan to uh, tackle, uh, you know, affordable housing and stuff. Made it to uh, Riverford. I'm gonna put this down uh, for a few minutes, and then I'll continue. This plaza is huge. Maybe I could find a. Okay, maybe I'll uh, look around and see what's around. Well, on the map at least. There's even more plastic up ahead. I've been to that McDonald's before. Okay. So, uh... Yeah, guys, stay cool, stay safe, all the best. And as always, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Check out my others as well and uh, see you on the next ones. Take care. Adios. Bye bye. Sayonara.